Count on two hands now, Andrew. The amount of saves that Bakla has made that just make you sit there and go, oh my God, how did he stop that? Well, and, and the force at which it came out of the glove looked like it went off the post. And uh, that's that's why I initially thought it had, because it came out so quickly. And Rapachi raised his arms. He thought yeah. that he had scored. He did not. Maybe trying to sell it a little bit, but nonetheless, a incredible save to keep the four-goal lead as is. Orlando clears off the draw. Indy on the power play for the second time tonight. The Fuel 4 for 16 in their last five games. They're second in the league on the power play at 19%. Pucks in it into the slot, played right back out. Raskov has it at the point, sent across, seam pass, Broadhurst, back up top, Raskov, one-timer hits the pile, comes back to Raskov, he sweeps it over to the near boards to Broadhurst, back up top to Raskov, right point, sends it across to the left wing circle, Marcinou skates in, surveys the box, feeds Raskov up top, wrist one that's deflected over the net, Pirog battling for it, one hands it over to Broadhurst into the right wing corner. Four-man puck battle ensues. It comes free to Pirog behind the net. Over to the far circle. Marcinu shoots. Save made by Lackey. Marcinu hops on the puck, plays it up to the point to Raskop. He's being harassed at the blue line. Feeds Broadhurst right circle up top again to Raskop. Over to the left circle. What time for Marcinu score? Matt Marcinu makes it 7-2 with a power play goal on a feed from Willie Raskop up top. He beat Lackey clean, and the Fuel have a touchdown this afternoon at the Indiana Farmers Coliseum. A touchdown and the Sorry, extra point in earlier. which Matt Marson is able to drill home. On the power play, it's so important to recover pucks. The Fuel had two or three shots on goal. Those shots, the pucks go to the corner. The Fuel win the battle to get to those loose pucks. And I they're able swear. to keep possession, keep the play alive in the offensive or zone, nine. and they continue the strong puck movement from Raskob in the middle of the ice. You force the goaltender to have to go from On one my side analysis, to the other. A one timer is the, one -timer the best way to score. From Being Matt a goaltender Marcy is just absolutely pile driven to the back Actually, of the net. Actually, I've never seen a one timer. Huge goal for the fuel again. And they now have their biggest lead of for the For me, my best, my Five enemy is goals. slap shots. Final minute of the second period. The goal is Marcinou's second of the game, 20th of the season from Raskob and Broadhurst. Marcinou becomes the first fuel player to reach the 20 goal club this season. Now here's Tommy Apap across the line into the left wing circle, waits for reinforcements, sends it in behind the net to Hutchison. Spencer rubs him out of the play, and Jolie takes the puck ahead of J.J. Pickenich. He'll spray it through neutral ice. Zulsdorf plays it off the boards, and Alex Router touches the puck on the wrong side of the blue line as Indy was still trying to vacate the zone. So we'll have a whistle. 32.3 seconds to go in the second period. The Fuel with a 7-2 lead. And you know what, Andrew? I was just thinking, and for those who might not know or just tuning in, last night's game that was supposed to be played with 5.04 left in the first period had to be postponed because of some ice issues. So that game... The 504 left in the first period, and then the full second and third period. All that's going to be played tomorrow night as a game. Oh, there's no way I'm not recording. This. But with the fact that the Indy Fuel put up seven goals this afternoon, that's going to give them a boatload of confidence going into to the game tomorrow night, where they will be trailing two to nothing. Exactly. When it begins. So you've got a whole lot of offense in your, or a lot of confidence in your offensive game, and going into that game, yeah, you might be down two nil. But the fact that you've been able to put up a touchdown and the extra point in a game, and we're still not even in the third period yet, should give this team more than enough hope to say two goals. Well, and we can make it. We can score five or six. Here's a chance for Orlando and a shot to hit the crossbar after Auk fed it across to Tad Cozen. Kugley out of the other way. Into the right wing circle. He's canceled out by Auk and the horn sounds as Kuglietta was trying to take it to the middle and Auk just basically took the body and those two kind of staring each other down before they will skate to their respective dressing rooms. A late chance for Orlando. Hits the crossbar and the fuel. Skate away from the second period. Scoring four goals in the period of the six that were scored and taking a 7-2 lead into the second intermission dressing room. Shots on goal in the period, 13 for I'm Orlando. I'm calling it now, guys. The Fuel are definitely going to win this game. For the fuel for owing to the fact they're up by five Indy goals headed into the third. Indy is now 1-2 on the power play. Orlando is 0-3.